Early morning, on the third day after Jesus' death and burial, a few of the women decided to go visit the tomb. They planned to take care of the body. But when they came to the tomb, they were shocked to find that the stone was already removed from the door. Angels stood outside the tomb and told the women, Jesus isn't here anymore. He has risen. Mary was standing there outside the tomb, wondering what had happened. She was confused and thought that somebody had taken Jesus' body. She did not understand what the angel was saying. Then she heard a voice behind her say, Woman, why are you weeping? Mary didn't recognize the voice through her sobbing, but thought it must be the gardener who worked near the tomb. Please, sir, if you've taken his body, please tell me where you put it. Mary, the voice came again. Now Mary recognized the voice. Teacher, she said as her heart flared up with gladness. It was Jesus. He was really alive. Go and tell my brothers, Jesus said. Mary turned and ran as fast as she could. It was true. Jesus was alive. She had just seen him with her own eyes. She was so excited and could not wait to tell the disciples and all the people that Jesus was truly risen. Back at the home where the disciples were gathered, Mary rushed into the room. I've seen him! He's alive! Jesus is alive! The disciples were so surprised they could hardly speak, but they too ran to see the risen Lord. One disciple wasn't so sure. Thomas couldn't believe that such a thing could actually happen. He loved the Lord so much, but did he really rise from the dead? Surely it couldn't be. Unless I see his hands, place my finger into the mark of the nails, and put my hand on his side, I will never believe, Thomas said. One day, Jesus appeared to his disciples as they were sitting in their upper room. He didn't use the door. He simply walked through the wall. The disciples could not believe their eyes. It was really Jesus. He was alive. He was standing there in person, in their midst. Jesus even ate with them so they could truly see that he was a real person and not a ghost. Then holding out his hand, Jesus spoke. Thomas, put your finger here. See my hands and put your hand and place it in my side. Do not doubt. It's me. Believe. He turned to Jesus, embracing him with great love and affection. Jesus was truly alive. Jesus appeared to many other people, and soon word spread of his resurrection. As people retold the account, many more became believers. Everyone marveled at the fact that Jesus, the Son of God, came in human form to bring redemption and salvation to anyone who would believe. Jesus was the only sacrifice that could appease God's anger towards sin. He was the only way to enter eternity with God in heaven. To this day, we proclaim this wonderful message to all who are willing to hear.